investing so much into Sardo. He gets naded, but he's going to be able to get out alive. He had 1,000 HP. This fight is still going on. Another Graviton Surge is sent out, and Hisu cleans up the rest. Striker and Twilight fall, and the Fusion now grasping on control of the point still. 30% in building. Shock may have taken that point first. Although I say that, Astro and Spurve end up finding boots, and they're just going to go back in with the beat. Even the blade from Ivy, this fight hasn't stopped yet. But well, the blade into the beat is great. When you're at low numbers like that, you know going. that you need to protect your Genji. The bubble comes in huge again. <laughs> Ant comes back on the Kree. And now, well, we should, if you're Sardo, you might as well stall for some additional time. They eventually kill him. Oh my word, that was a good sick healing. It's just so great from the Coalescence and forcing everybody back. You can see them all piling up in that corridor now. Ashra finds a boop as well in the midst of the chaos, and Hisu sitting on with the Death Blossom. Arn's in trouble, and Hisu just playing Doorman right now. Graviton Surge onto the point, but no follow up. So, Fury's going to stay alive, but not for long as Striker throws in the Pulse Bomb. It's still fairly even, but Philadelphia Fusion are going to be able to come out on top as Sardo kills both, both tanks. Arn's is just going to go down as well. The shock gained 65%. The blade's going to come in as well as the coalescence. Sardo is going so low, he got antenated in that small room, so he couldn't even pick up the mega health pack. The blade didn't really get too much, but Fusion just need to buy time. Alarm and Sardo do end up uh, going down. It's now Hisu just to go scurry back to his spawn. They kill off Arns, and Ivy is still fighting in the front line, but Twilight's got all the protection he needs and a little bit of firepower as well as Ivy does end up going down and shock reclaim control. See if they can actually get something to work here, grab it. There's the grab. Oh, Hisu and Fury just melt joy. Oh, the Death Blossom in the front as well. That's two kills for Hisu. They claim the point. Oh, the primal rage from Smurf to try and bash everybody away. The flip comes through from the fusion. Can anybody from the shock touch? It's going to be one person at least to trigger OT, but can they get back? Yes, they can. But Smurf, with no primal rage left, isn't going to survive too long against Hisu. A pulse bomb gets thrown in as well, but even Hisu with a very aggressive TP forward. Arns with the high noon to spread everybody from the point, but it doesn't matter. Their coalescence is going to help them finish this one off, and downtown belongs to the fusion. He's already burned the rate form here, so he's going to have to play a little bit more safe, and so does Astro. Arns was almost mid-air a little like there, and he hit the headshot. That's a good start, dueling out with the Moira, not something you want to do unless you're behind a shield. Oh, Ivy may have taken out Viola, but it's all over. Like, Arns is on fire currently. He's warmed up in the semi-finals, and now he's clicking the heads. They claim Striker on front of him is a great move. What? What? Solo was in the back line that entire time. Three people surrounding Violet wasn't enough to actually save him. The power driver with the mind. Sardo now just uh, paying attention to Arns, or at least trying to. Now he hasn't got the protection that he really wants. Twilight unleashes the window, but uh, he ends up going down. San Francisco shock. It's okay to lose the point here. Tardo actually went all the way into the back line and got insta killed. Immortality field's already been used, and Choi just kills two people. Now they look at all the ults they have. They can just throw everything here at once. They're gonna, you go for the flank, kill off Alarm as he's already used Phase. There's a bit of Street Blade coming out from Ivy, ends up going down. Twilight Striker just fill up the kill feed and Shock find the flip. 93% now for the Shock, and they still have not only a Pulse Bomb, but they have the Flux as well. It seems almost impossible now for them to lose this. Sardo dies charge. before he can even get to the point. Also, the Immortality Field gets used to try and save Smurf. It ends up going down, but they still manage to navigate themselves to the high ground without uh, losing anybody. One big cooldown down. Oh, a headshot onto Arns, and he's who finishes it up. The Coalescence is going to be good as well to end this fight. That's what they really needed, this uh, bunker strategy from the shock, just uh, protecting the President Arns. It's only going to work for so long. As soon as Fusion gets ults online, yeah, he's, he's in trouble. Break the pillars, you should be okay. Still using that window to good effect. However, the Blizzard is going to come through. Uh, matching with the Transcendence. A big shadow in the front. That Transcendence is going to run out sometime shortly. A huge pin onto Arns. That was just a pure flow chart there, just waiting for that blizzard to come out, and then they trance, and then guess what? We got a shadow to follow up. Normally it's pretty tough, you know, we're going against double shields, but Sardo makes this fight, and it could be all theirs. Double support alts though for Philadelphia. They have been holding oh, that's on to not good. Resort. What a rock! Oh, well, this is uh, going to come out farther soon as well. In fact, all support ultimates have been thrown in. Arms manages to snipe alarm. Coalescence is not available anymore, but Hisu manages to take him out. He's on the flank this whole time. The High Noon has been used. He's got the rock, and Hisu God on the sidelines takes the 2v1, and the Philadelphia Fusion yeah. will go one map up in the series. He soon takes a bit of a siesta. They want to drop. Okay, they do actually decide to drop here. And this is going to be a good position for Rascal to actually be in a funny Astro. What he goes down. Oh my god, this is going to be a roll now. Yeah, there's actually nothing you can do. Alarm is in big trouble. Luckily, Rascal had to reload. He's going to block as well and stop all that heals coming through. 
There is no way if you're the Fusion if you make it back into this one. Well, unless Sado hits something actually crazy, but it's looking rather unlikely. Two I mean, they, ticks. They can touch. Maybe a third. Nope. No touch. What a quick point A from Shock there. Well, I mean, it was alarming. They can now play this arch where at least try to. Rascal, of course, not being alive and Ivy being a, a, just existing is good enough. Both ends up dying to the Venomine of all things, but it should be okay for the time being. The Fusion are going to get fluxed and holding the corner is going to be good, but Super with the perfect charge to finish off Sado. And now they just control the payload. Shock somehow again winning these fights, even though a key player in pushing the car. Yeah, available for Bunny Astro now. They're going to go on the spike anyway. They don't really care at all. A charge from Sado to try and get out alive. He's already dies. There's the Blizzard insta kill onto Sado too. The Flux might have been good if they could take down the tanks, but Super is alive and well on this payload. What a ridiculous time now for the Shock to push onto this last point. Five whole minutes. They haven't got too much left to really do anything, unless you want to send your Lucio after it, which is not usually a great idea. Great wall, though. Well, their sense of urgency pretty high there, and they do make themselves uh, known on the payload. A perfect pin onto Super. Just escorting him away from the rest of his team. In a coalescence as well, is going to kill off Violet. That was really nice. Uh, wrap around there. Sado is going so, so low. You can see the pressure, actually. He might not even survive this. The co well, the Coalescence did the damage, and there you go. A hammer swing, instantly <laughs> killing off Sado. Alarm's going to fall down as well. They're going to hit the Shatter. Fury goes down. It could be big. He has this Flux coming back, but I'm not sure if he's going to be able to even touch the payload. Funny Astro finds the boot onto Rascal, but they still have five people pushing it. The Blizzard from Rascal as he comes back is going to be good. A big boop as well. And Astro ends up going down into the pit. Not the better Lucio in this situation. And Lance has got free reign over this point as well on the Widowmaker. Rascal's Joy kills so off Sado. Away. And it's only a couple of meters before they land it in on third point. And Ivy's dead too. Ards is setting up. He's got so much space, it's disgusting. Alarm's gonna go down as well. And he still gets headshot when he uses the Death Blossom. That's the only thing he can really do to turn the tides. Three minutes of the time. I'm just gonna jump onto, okay, so they can jump on the supports. They just do a shield and there's still a lot of damage there. And Alarm ends up going down to Arns. However, they take out Super, so a lot less staying power now available. Sardo goes extraordinarily low as he's found uh, Arns and Sniper once again in the corner. Nothing you can do. He even gets hacked. He actually made up on the high ground anyway. A late Transcendence from Violet might be good enough. And Rascal actually earns himself an EMP in the, in the, in the chaos of it all. He doesn't manage to get it off in time. Everybody crashes back down to Earth as that flux from Troy was not followed up upon. The Philadelphia Fusion gaining two ticks and a third here as well as they get this payload moving through King's Row. Yeah, well, that's the advantages are they have a better Sombra because on Sombra has been mediocre at best and they have oh, a better flex support. Okay, Violet was just on the side. He gets solo grabbed. And now you've got almost nothing on the point. Alarm gets dragged back in though. That supercharger and the Bob did so much work. Bob one definitely one of the best things to actually contest the payload. It getting supercharged as well does a surprising amount of damage. Arns is able to clean that up with the help of his bot. He's just really good if you can get it. Oh, there's the Nano, there's the Blade. The Mephatic kill's not out just yet, and Ivy kills two. Oh, that'll be another one as well, as Super's just fending for his life on this payload. That Immortality kills. I don't think it even came out in the end. Moth was just distracted by Houston that entire time. If he turns his back and tries to get the Immo field out, hey, good luck. And they take almost zero damage as well as they come back down. Nano, Blade in the back. Oh, the Immortality field was good, but Moth got booped out of it. Ivy jumps into the grab, finds another two kills, and now his arms on the point. Can't find anything. Killed Sado, but the grenade finished him off. And the Fusion, they're going to cap point C with one minute and 40. Not gone in to do really any damage. Okay, there's the hack. He landed onto the brief, but I think it actually got interrupted, but it didn't matter. But they do trade supports as Lama also ends up falling. Astro needs to get to with the rest of his team at this point to heal them all up. Although with Moth being surrounded and no immortality field available, Sado and Ivy just executing the perfect dive. Arnt is up onto the high ground, and this uh, this split up post from the shock, I do really like it, but the problem is, if you give Fusion the space, they're going to take a whole bunch of it. Arnt at least kills two people. Away, here comes the Bob, it got launched into Neverland. Actually, it's on a sick flank, mind you. Super's Arisa manages to find a kill as well. Arnt's Bob is doing so much work already. The Nano is not going to be available for that blade. Ivy just jumped straight in. He's just built up an EMP, but it's way too late. 1 minute and 44 was in the time bank. Okay, now they push him on the payload. Perfect flank as well, because Arns is actually just sitting in the spawn, so he can just...
take pot shots at people that are contesting. Sado's gonna go sky high, Sado. told you, just there. Arndt is taking the flank, or look, not really a flank, you're just playing it straight up. And now they're gonna be able to secure a tick. The Philadelphia Fusion have lost a DPS and a tank and Fury now as Arndt is on the ground. Ivy tries to take him out, but the support that they are giving him is just ridiculous. There's not really much he can do now. Astro scurrying for cover and the coalescence from Violet is gonna make sure they're punished for every single step that they take on this point. Even a boop on Dosado out of the bubble. Headshot by Arndt again. And the shock. It's like that is the big key right no. now. Okay, that's, that's sick hole, actually. Oh, the EMP as well. Straight on top of Fury. There's the blade. Oh, Choi, run. He's got a blade in a small room. Although if Ivy doesn't have the nano boost, he almost instantly ends up going down. Twilight's thirsty for blood. Sado and Ivy end up falling. That was a beautiful grab coming out from the fusion to stop Violet there from getting the rally to the rest of his team. The problem was then Fury got grabbed and uh, unleashing the blade without the nano. Fusion can't really do much. They got the nano boost, but it's going to get naded too. He has to just get out of there ASAP. A Graviton Surge will come in from the shock as well as that rally on top. And in fact, they're throwing everything in. 13 seconds remains for the Fusion to try and find a place on the first point, but it's not going to happen. And now they're going to have to touch but I don't think it's going to work. I mean, Hisu, he's got 10% towards his EMP, but San Francisco shot with pure ultimate economy game has managed to hold the fusion off this first point. Sado's going to be able to get back just in time, but gets booped away. And the shot ridiculously good name from Alarm there, waiting for the uh, personal bubble from Choi to go down. And now they're just fighting this room. Eventually, Choi dies. There we go. Another bio grenade lands, and that is shock going down. Nothing really else they can do. Okay, I mean, now you're thinking this is winnable because it's not like you can only draw uh, someone being asleep and they dash around him. EMP comes out. That's a five man. That's Rascal dead, and that's the rest of the team gone as well. And now you sit on a nano blade, a grab, a primal rage. Very winnable from the fusion. However, shock, not out of this just yet. EMP coming through. That's four people hacked. However, the rally's already building up for the fusion. They're way harder to take down. Ivy with the nano. He doesn't need the blade. They're already trapped in the grab. That will be that team fight over again. The shock investing a fair bit into this fight ability, but he's able to get that EMP off. Last gasp, though, for San Francisco. They're going to have five ready to go. Striker gets hacked! Striker go. gone! Nano Blade, though, in the bag. Rascal's fine one already, and it's the support. The sleep guard goes wide. Alarm ends up going down as well, but Ivy at least trading one for one. Rascal with a 4k, and now jumps to the back. Ivy, he's to a low. The Graviton Surge on the 2 HP Ivy finishes him off in the end, and Shock. They managed to get onto the point. Someone still has to touch. Thank yes, goodness Smurf realized that. A fusion are going to be able to come back on the wrecking ball, but it doesn't really seem winnable now. A striker is just holding on EMP. to this EMP. The nano blade was worth it. Ivy tried to clutch it out in the end. Sardo's going to be able to come out with a primal rage as well. Still winnable. EMP hits uh, a couple of people. Smurf is going to get hacked as well. The rally is here. That is going to be it. Shock are going to push off fusion in OT. It looks so winnable, but it doesn't matter in the end. The shock are going to claim the map and claim 2 1 in the series. <laughs> Basically, just to get behind the enemy lines and just start poking the tanks. Isu is going to be able to get priority control of the health packs. Well, oh dear, inside his own bubble. And uh, Choi, oh, whoops, Daisy, gets booped off the map as well. There is uh, someone still pushing the payloads. It is a striker. Fury cleans up the rest, though, and uh, stops the payload. And hacked. And now the EMP is going to come out, though. Smurf, Choi, Arns, they've all been hacked. Striker sends out the post bomb, but doesn't quite find anybody. That's a beautiful counter EMP there from the fusion. He's too spotted how many members of the shot were kind of in and around his team. Hits the EMP and manages to take out Smurf, or at least to attempt to help him. Graviton Surge into the front line as well. Violet jumps into the bubble to try and heal everybody up, but it's not going to work. The fusion continuing to hold this payload. And they invested everything that they had going into that one. Ans dies, but he is going to be point. The pulse bomb goes a little bit wide. In fact, I think it was bubbled by Choi. And now Fury just runs to the back line and kills off Twilight and Choi. The EMP has come out. It, Hex, it hit three people. He still ends up falling. It's Striker and Smurf's duty now to try and clean up this fight. But Fury is going to be able to get kept alive. And he's still holding this grab. Shocker just all over the place on this map. Indecisiveness with these EMPs is not landing them in a good space. 25 seconds now remaining for them to put this pilot. The, the true this desperation pick blade, always though. has been. <gasps> Choi gets hacked as well. He can't go to the payload. Someone has to touch. Someone has to touch. 
The Tracer does in the end, but Smurf ends up getting caught out alone. And now the blade's going to be big. Fury does end up going down. I say the blade's going to be big. The Graviton Surge went wide as well, but the damage is really there. And finally, Arns gets taken out. Ivy may have been slept, and Twilight does pull it off. The Miracle Sleep on the blade, but... With Striker, the only surviving member from the shot on the payload. Is it going to be able to do too much with just a single pick? To end up with six ults. Twilight with the sleep onto Sardo. He's going to be safe though. There's the EMP. Hisu is going to throw it out. Ivy's going to get puffed as well. The blade comes through. Striker and Arns have already just dished out too much damage. That they end up going down. Striker with a three piece of his own. That's a lot invested from the fusion. The shock. The four currently. Yeah, he's gonna get tickled from the back there, but Arns already ends up going down. Smurf as well. Joy manages to find one. A Graviton search in the payload too. The Pulse Bomb's gonna be big. There's a personal bubble in the way though. And Fury manages to stay alive and is now at 100 energy. Joy gets burnt down. And now Philadelphia Fusion in control of the payload. 20 seconds remaining and the shock need to touch. Striker gets back in time, but gets bashed. Instantly killed off. The purple onto the supports as well. And the fusion tie up the series. Don't really need to turn anything around. They're, they're in full control here. And, you know, Oasis is a map that it, the fights aren't over until they're fully over. Here comes Blade. Nano Blade. Oh, there's nothing you can do. Run away. Oh, that was unfortunate. And now they can just sit in control. Control is such a fickle mistress as well. Because if you control so many places you can hide, which is rather annoying. There is a Graviton Surge and a Rally on top as well. Joy doesn't stand a chance. He did get needed. So he was able to keep himself alive for at least a little bit longer there. And uh, Twilight and Violet were just pumping and full of heals, but it wasn't to be. Contesting the point is the name of the game now for the Shock. There's the Blade in the back. Ivy is going so low. One, two, three slashes to take out Twilight, but they end up trading after this uh, small engagement. And now Funny Astro taking a couple of kills of his own. They end up finding the reflip, but uh, Shock, they're not out of this. But it didn't end up hurting Look at the Ops, though. Oh my god, that was a big EMP. Alarm. Funny Astro and Fury get EMP, and the Nano Blade comes in. That's three kills for Rascal. Ivy trying to like level this one out and he's doing a good job of it as well. Choi and Violet end up going down. The Genji 1v1 on the payload on the point. Strike is back. Yes. Oh, he's cheating from the shock. The 2v1 in the end. <laughs> Disrespected. Right now, Philadelphia with an enormous ultimate advantage. That's a nice little hack as well onto the Winston Smurf. Scaring the cover. The Graviton Surge in the back as well. Yep, Sado and Ivy find the two in there. And Rascal gets cleaned up as well. Fusion eventually take control once more where you get caught out first. Oh, that's a good EMP as well. The blade's going to come out too. Smurf, Joy, Violet hacked. Smurf, Violet dead. And Joy's going to get chased down as well by Astro. Finds out a nice little boot kill. And now Shock in a that's dangerous it. situation where they need to be able to touch the point. I don't think they're going to be able to. Almost a complete team wipe. Try and turn the tides. However, Striker with the EMP is going to be pretty big. Fury, Sado, Ivy hacked. And Fury ends up getting taken out. And now Rascal with the blade. And the rally at his back. Rascal finds three yet again. Alarm finds him. But it doesn't matter at all. Because Twilight's now on the point with Violet. He's going to have it. Nano for this fight as well. Somehow, some way, the shock come back. Sado just kind of sits on it. It's a lot less pressure on the healers, of course. Joy Oven ends up going down. You can see the pressure they're exerting. It's, it's so tough um, when the enemy team has like a third source of healing uh, from these hacked mega packs. Of course, they respawn a lot quicker as well, so it's worth keeping. Oh, Strike is dead. Are they going to be able to follow this up? I don't think they can. Oh, the kill onto Alarm is going to be good though. He did get isolated in the side. I kind of take it back. There's the blade from Ivy straight into the bat line. Twilight got hacked as well, so couldn't even grenade himself. He couldn't sleep. Ivy finds two. And it being both the supports as well, Shock after plays that one a little bit more scarce. Smurf takes out Fury, but still no heals on the point. Doesn't matter. Smurf literally doesn't care. He rips through two people. Strike is going to come back as well, and they find the flip. Yeah, Smurf ends up winning. Twilight's oh. nice in trouble, but he's going to be okay. Oh, no. He did miss one shot on Violet there. I'm not sure if that yeah. would actually matter. I think you just go again. If you don't have your brig, it looks kind of disastrous. But, of course, they are the shock after all. So they could just yeah, go so when they going. want. They have EMP. They have Blade. There's the Blade in the back. Alarm's dead. Oh, did nice translocate there from Isu to get out of there just in time. But Choi manages to grab it on Surge Sardo, so he couldn't do anything. Isu with the translocator out of the fight. And an EMP as well on top for Striker. I'm not entirely sure if that was even no, necessary from the not. shock. It 100% was not. And I think... Philadelphia, 88% needs to win one more solid fight. They've got EMP to do it, but not Twilight, really what are you doing? Up. Oh my god, Twilight! Jeez. The flanking bio grenade instantly killing off both supports. That is how you carry on the Ana right there. 
Oh, Smurf, he's gonna seize Hado straight out the front door. Possible, even if they do end up losing people. He's gonna do it again! Are you fight. kidding me? Oh, Are you kidding me, Twilight? Another beautiful sleep into a bio grenade so they can block it with a shield. Smurf now primal raging near their spawn. This is the shock that we like to see. Just all attitude, no fuss. OT's gonna tick down. It's only Sado on the point. He's gonna get flammed. Victory played from the rascal and shock are going to find themselves with match point in the series 3-2 as we go on to our next one. And are they going to touch? They're not going to touch. Okay, well, you just don't touch. Okay, and uh, guess what, Hex? Uh, it's Numbani, so point two just doesn't exist. Although it might do now, actually, because Rascal and Smurf have ended up going down. Normally on this map, we just, over the last tournament, you just don't see second. It's like half a fight, and then you just give it up, and you only fight. You get the Nano off, though, and in fact, Choice is going to walk on forward. He has Nano. Sado's going to have Nano as well, but... Traps in this small room. Nice little sleep on Sado too. Fury ends up going down. Perfect. Reactive nano boost from Twilight. Now Sado's in trouble. They just walk at him. This fusion was split between the small room and the bus area, and Sado received almost no heals because the Lava Funny Astro, I believe they were LOS. They're going to fall, and um, well, there you go. Uh, point two. It's going to get capped. And and the rest of our team's gonna walk forward. 7-6-6-go didn't have to use anything except Nano. Nothing. Look at the ult. Ooh, there's the EMP, there's the blade. The bio grenade was good as well. Twilight does end up going down, but uh, look at Rascal dive on these walls. However, without uh, healing, he's gonna be <laughs> in a sorry situation. He doesn't end up it's going fine. down, but to be, he distracted Astro and Alarm for the yeah. entirety of that. But there's the blade, there's the nano straight at the back, deflecting. Oh, you got hacked too. Wait, the bubbles are still going to save him. And the sleep as well. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Twilight? They managed to bubble the Genji after he got hacked so he couldn't kill him. The dash didn't kill him either. And then Twilight hits the nade and the sleep to follow up. The San Francisco shot are going to be able to push his payload in now. Hisu with the late EMP. The fusion has scattered the shock with a four minute, 20 second time bank for the next round, even if they need to go there. Didn't wait for his team to go up there and hope that Shock can engage. Personal bubble has already been used, actually, uh, from the Shock. Yeah, so Choi has to be playing rather safe. Astro ends up going down. Like I said, we'll sleep on the return there. But they do trade him for Smurf. Nibani, one of the best maps, really, for defenders because the spawn point is fairly close. So Fusion, no time is of the essence currently. They're going to Nano Furious. They send him forward. Sado is still pretty low, but you don't want to get in front of Fury, not when he has this much charge <laughs> and a Nano. This Graviton Surge is coming online rather shortly. Striker's gonna go down as well. Nah, they're not fighting. Smurf, Smurf respawned, he was the first one to die in that. He took one look at the uh, the glowing fury. Nah, oh, that was so nice. <laughs> nope, everyone's sleeping. They all sleep, taking a, a little nap together in the corner. They haven't quite captured the point yet, but it will be uh, there momentarily, there you go. And yeah, the worst San party was at the, at the back line. Everybody is really low, by the way. Imagine if Winston had yeah. resets. Uh, that would be ridiculous. Joy ends up earning his own life on the bubble there, but uh, here we go. Point two in Nibani. It's going to go within a blink of an eye. Fusion. It's, it's always about which Sombra gets a better EMP. Oh, the EMP. That was perfectly placed on Choi. He's going to get uh, purple as well, but the armor stacking up from the shock. Choi was the target that they wanted to leap on, but they just couldn't get to him. He got EMP'd. He got naded, was sub 100 HP, and still unable to take him down. Uh, what out though from San Francisco. Yeah, but it's going to get bubbled and uh, yep, yeah, goodbye. Uh, Rascal's not going to do all too much. Graviton turned on the side. They managed to catch Choi. Now it's 5v6. Primer Rage prop from Smurf, but he's already pretty low. And Fury doing a good job of protecting his back line. The target is Rascal. They managed to find it. And Smurf getting out of there rather fast. He had the Primal Rage, but not a lot of life left. And now the Philadelphia Fusion can avenge. It's yeah, two. Fury's, Fury's the target. You can see his health bar dwindling, and he's purple. Alarm trying to keep everybody alive, though, with the need available, too. That's pretty big. But no, Smurf ends his life rather shortly after. Smurf does end up going down, and a rally actually forward from the Fusion. It's going to be good news. Now Choi is caught off guard. Like, he's on the Mega Room, which is really nice for your like self-sustain. But he's cut off from the rest of his team. He and the Nano Winston. They're going to Nano him first to create a little bit more space. But Alarm actually gets grabbed in the back. A nice little nade, but it is going to be worth it. Rascal comes in with a blade, gets a couple of resets. And that'll be, once again, the Fusion's offense thwarted. I mean, San Francisco did... They're all in the same spot. Room. Oh, no, the Primal Room. They do end up uh, sending in the EMP though. Look at all those hacked people. However, they're able to scurry away on the stairs. Alarm is dead too, so the Fusion haven't got much healing left. They supplement that with a rally. The Ivy's gonna go in with the blade. Straight to the back line, but Snurf takes him out. Spawn advantage for the Great Shock rally. as well. There was a lot of hacked people also, but 
the damage was not there, the healing was not there for the fusion. They throw a whole bunch in on that fight, and now the shot. Blade in the knee, hack him, stop them getting resets, but shot. They've got grab, they've got blade. They're gonna throw the grab in first. There's the blade, nade on top, alarm, I'd be dead. Fury's gonna follow as well, and now Philadelphia Fusion need to touch the payload. The shock have thrown everything they have in last. And for Twilight, still with the nano boost, like, this is really it. They're actually just gonna mana nano smurf. They isolate Fury, and he's dead, he's not available for the final fight. OT is here, but every single person from the Fusion are cut down. Ivy comes in with a blade, but killed off by Violet. The San Francisco Shock have done it. Two championships in the monthly...